Welcome back to Good Day. Wednesday is Knit Along Day. And before we get to our next guest, we need to say thanks to Linda Temple Alexander. She sent us this photo and she wrote to tell us that the Knit Along segment she saw it and decided to finish these two granny square afghans over the summer. She took a crochet class at Chickadee Knit Studio in Perrysburg and watched a lot of YouTube videos, which allowed her to finally complete something that her great grandmother tried to teach her more than 60 years ago. So if it wasn't for the knit along, she may have never finished. And I am so excited to hear this note here from Linda this morning. And she sent us that last week and I wanted to share it with all of you. Ah, it's just so inspiring and encouraging to all of us who may have those projects out there and maybe we set it aside, we don't get it finished, but a great job, Linda. Those blankets are beautiful. Well, Knit Along just shows that the yarn and crafting community is a large one, which loves to share projects and ideas. And you could do that every Tuesday at the Bowling Green Library. Kelsey Nevius has all the details. She joins us this morning. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for being here. Always a pleasure. Yeah, so you're a fairly new knitter, I right? Am, yes. We I just started, started kind of around the same we time, did, I think. Yeah. So what are you working on right now? Yeah, so this is my current little scarf that I have going. Again, not Beautiful. a whole lot, but just look at the improvement. I think when I came last time, it was all over the place. <laughs> my rows were kind of a mess, so very, very proud of this. That's great. Um, I also have my other Ooh. bigger scarf and my big needles. You know how I love my yes. big needles. So this can is be also nice and chunky and warm for for the yes, for winter. Months as, ahead. Yeah, winter is coming, so it we gotta is. like prepare with our scarves here. So this is my current project, mm -hmm. and everybody's working on something different in our uh, knitting circle. Um, you can crochet, you can knit, mm -hmm. um, a whole bunch of different things. If you're just new, like I was starting out, you can come and learn. That's how I learned how to knit. Um, and if you're an expert, you can come share your ideas, whatever it is you're working on. We just want to see everybody out there, every skill level, mm -hmm. every age. Um, we have a ton of new people and a ton of old people from our uh, previous. Uh, uh, project as well. So. Right, so you had sessions, uh, took a little break for the summer, getting mm -hmm. things back, you know, as we head into the school and fall months. And it uh, looks like you did have a really good crowd last week. Yes. We were able to pop over there and get some video to that first uh, session. And then you met again yesterday. So again, Tuesdays, 10 o'clock at the library. Mm -hmm. You know, I... If I didn't, if I didn't have to be on TV around that time, I can pop <laughs> over. But because I still need to finish mm -hmm. this project yep. that I've been working on for months, this <laughs> is a baby hat that I started for my friend. Oh. Who had the baby on Monday? Well, you know. <laughs> but the, the cool Eventually. thing is, is we didn't know the gender yet, mm -hmm. so I was going with a neutral color. But now I could put a little pink pom pom oh, on perfect. the top because she had a girl after having two boys. So very, very excited to get mm -hmm. this finished now. And th what's great about these knitting groups is, yeah, you are there to motivate and encourage yes. and get those projects done, but also to socialize a little bit. Absolutely. Especially during the cooler months when there's not as much to do, right? Yeah, and it's such a social group. They always love to meet. Um, and they meet, you know, past the hour mark. So they come in at 10 o'clock and they'll go to 11 and then be like, hey, can we move somewhere else? Can we keep talking? Can we keep working on our projects? So it's just an awesome group that comes together. And again, the library is such a big community space and community is very important to us. So having that community center where you can come and work on your project, get questions answered, you know, learn something new is what we're all about. You know, as you're working on your projects, I'm sure you'll find you make a mistake and you're like, hey, Help me and fix it. It's so much better <laughs> if you can have actual in-person help than trying to look at it. We have plenty of tutorials and of course books, right. don't get me wrong, but if someone's there to walk you through it and, and teach you how to do it in person, it is so much easier than trying to figure out by yourself. <laughs> yes, it is. I've been there before and been like, oh, I need help with this right now. I, I made a mistake. How do I fix it? But you do mention the books too. So yes. you're at the library. So of course you have access to the books. Um, talk a little bit about you know why this also helps uh, people get into the library sure. as well. So whenever you're starting a new craft, you know, it's super important to go somewhere where you can get free resources because you don't know if it's something you really enjoy doing or maybe it's, you're just trying it out, trying something new. Um, so the library is a perfect place where you can get those free resources. I checked out these three books yesterday mm -hmm. and you get this handy dandy little receipt when you check out the books. When um, they're all due I, back, right? Yes, when they're all due back. And I saved $101 just on oh, no these kidding. three books for this new hobby. Oh, I love how 
how they have that on there. Yes. It is very, very enticing to see how much you can save by just starting a new hobby mm -hmm. with free resources from your library. Right. And sometimes people just forget that those resources are available to them and they automatically will hop on the phone, get mm -hmm. something on Amazon, you know, have it sent to the house. But you can go down the street yeah. and pick, pick these up mm -hmm. and maybe even peruse and find that you're interested yes. in something you didn't even know you were interested in. Find your little right? niche, find whatever. Yeah. You know, I started just on knitl knitting needles that I borrowed. They weren't even my own needles. So I started on that and then I obviously grew up and got my, my own little knitting <laughs> needles here. Um, but again, we have all of the things you'll need. We have the expertise you'll need. We'll have all the books and tutorials and resources that you'll need as well. That's wonderful. So again, this is on Tuesdays at the Wood County Library there in Bowling Green, yes. right? Yep. And at 10 o'clock on Tuesday. So head over there, make some fiber friends uh, and get into your creative circle. <laughs> on Tuesdays. Kelsey, thank you so much for yeah. coming today. Always Appreciate a pleasure. It. Yeah, and I can't wait to see when you finish your show. I know, I know. We always, you know, powwow when we get yes, in here. Yes. We say, hey, how are you doing? Yep, yeah, yep. love it, love it.